Hello guys and today we'll be seeing how we can set up the uh, reward system within our uh, WordPress WooCommerce platform based web store. So we are basically using the plugin that's the uh, WooCommerce reward system uh, plugin. Uh, basically allows the store admin to completely manage the customer reward points as required and the reward points can be set up for the new user registration, product purchase, product reviews, uh, there and apart from that the admin can set the reward point usage limit and the weight of each of the reward points apart from that the reward points can be assigned manually to the customers as well by the admin and for the products the admin can set the number of reward points to give to each of those uh, so uh, here you can see that I'm at the uh, WooCommerce storefront and here I'm at the registration or on the login page so for a new registration, the customers will get a reward point. So here you can see that register yourself to get two reward points. So if a new user registers, he'll get uh, two reward points into his account there. The same goes uh, for the uh, product uh, uh, purchase as well as for the uh, product reviews. So for example, if we go to this particular product and uh, here you can see that login and reach your cart amount to a minimum of $100 and get five reward points okay and if I scroll down here you can see that login and give a review or the ratings to get two reward points so for uh, purchasing the products as well you can provide the customers uh, with reward points you can uh, set a line there for example you can see here reach your cart amount to a minimum of hundred dollars and get five reward points so uh, goes for the uh, reviews and ratings you can also provide the customers you can ask them to give the re, uh, reviews and the ratings for your products and in turn you can give them back uh, some reward points for the same and this is uh, very beneficial because definitely for the next time they'll come in and they'll be uh, purchasing more of the products from your store because you're giving them reward points as well for the purchases uh, or the reviews or the registrations that they are making on your store there so uh, today i'll be showing you the workflow of the uh, same and the rest of the configurations are required for this particular woocommerce reward system plugin but before that please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up so uh, let's uh, log in to uh, or let's uh, first uh, uh, register ourselves at the store so for that i'll just go to the my account section and on the registration we'll be getting two reward points so let me get ahead and let me enter my email address let me set up my password let's register so I've registered there and if I scroll down now within the account the customers can find the option for the reward point and uh, let's tap on that and uh, right now you can see that the total reward points remaining are two because uh, because I've just registered on the uh, as a new user and uh, for that we had only two reward points to get now if I'm purchasing a product uh, for example let's go to the shop page and let's go to that particular same uh, product that we had and let me tap on that so reach your cart amount to a minimum of hundred dollars and get five reward points so uh, this is 15 let's uh, put it into the cart so here you can see that uh, if the cart amount reaches hundred dollars we get five reward points let me tap here in the view cart uh, option so the amount is 120 let's proceed further and let's make a check out thereafter so everything is set up and you can see that at the checkout time as well we can see the total reward points that the customer has uh, the points are weightage so two point means two dollars if we want while we are making a purchase uh, within the store we can in turn make use of these uh, reward points to get discounts on the products that we're going to purchase. So if I want, I can make uh, use of the two points there. 
So uh, if I enter two, uh, that would uh, basically deduct the amount and now we just need to pay $116. But for now, let me remove that off once again. And let's place the order thereafter. All right, the telephone number is missing here. And let's place the order now. And then we'll get five more reward points into our account for making a purchase uh, when we are having the $100 uh, cart value there. So, all right, all right, all right. Now let's go to the My Account section. And let me scroll down. Let's go to the reward point. And the total reward points should be seven. Okay. Okay, okay. After the order has been completed, after that we'll get, go get those uh, reward points back into our uh, uh, into our section here within the reward point section. And whenever we are making uh, a credit or a debit, uh, then the reward debit report would be here. Uh, sorry, the debit report would be there for the order number, the date, the status, and the total point used uh, while uh, placing the order there. So let me complete the order and let's see uh, how the five, uh, five uh, reward points coming up under our uh, reward point section. Now you can see that uh, I've just completed that particular order. If I go to the order section here, you can see the order is completed. And now when I go to the reward point section, here you can see that now we have a total of seven uh, reward points. Now let's place your order and let's say make use of the reward points there. So for example, let's place the same order once again and uh, let me tap here in the order again button and let's proceed to the checkout uh, page and uh, total reward points are seven and uh, let's tap here on the seven and according to that uh, seven into two that is 14 so the 14 reward points would be de deducted there and let's uh, place the order now this uh, debit would be uh, visible under the uh, my reward section there for the customer. So here you can see that a total 106 was uh, paid and uh, the amount of the reward points that we used was uh, $14. Uh, now if I go back to my account and then if I scroll down to my reward point section, I can find the detail here for the order number 129, today's state, status of the order. Total point used, seven point used for uh, eight items there. If I want, I can see the complete details from here as well. Now let's see uh, if we are giving a uh, review for the product uh, and then what happens, uh, how many reward points do we get uh, for giving a product review. So let's go back and let's we had purchased this product and let's go down. Related products are there and uh, reviews. All right, let's give it a rating, best product. So for the review and the rating, we'll get two reward points. And let's tap here in the submit button. And uh, okay, so our review has been posted here for the uh, product. And now if I go back to my account and to the reward point section, Right now, I want to. Okay, after the approval of that, uh, there now we'll get these, uh, we'll get the two more reward points into our account there. So, I'll have to uh, basically approve this one, this comment first. So, I'm just trying to approve it up. And after the approval of this one, we'll get two more reward points into our account there. So uh, that was the customer's flow and I showed you how on the registration, on per product purchase, uh, on product review, we will get the reward points. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel, let's see the different configuration settings there. So after the login, uh, as I've told you, we have the WooCommerce reward system. Under that we have the customer reward points, reward transactions and the configuration. So uh, let's go through the customer reward points first. Then the reward transaction and lastly we go through the configuration part as well so under the customer uh, reward points here we can find the uh, username the email uh, location the orders that have been placed the reward points that have been utilized the last order that was uh, uh, placed by the customer so here's uh, the last one wherein we had uh, used the 76 uh, reward points 
and uh, here you can see that we have the edit and view orders uh, options as well now if you want to manually uh, 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 send or manually send the reward uh, transactions to the customers then you can tap here on the manual reward transaction button and then what you need to do is you need to choose the customer name to whom you want to uh, basically transfer the amount so let's choose this one now how many points you want to assign let's go for nine points uh, the action that you want to do whether you want to credit the uh, nine reward points or you want to debit the nine reward points so I'll go for the credit nine ones and then you can tap in the save button Now, if I log into the customer account, uh, let's check whether we are getting those uh, nine points there. So, I'll uh, choose that. I'll just log into my customer account. Okay, uh, let me do it once again. Let's log into my customer account. Now, let me go to the reward point section. And here you can see that the remaining points right now it shows nine. Okay. So uh, that's how the admin can transfer manually or can credit or debit the uh, reward points to the manually to the customers of the web store. So that was about the customer reward point section. Now let's go to the uh, reward transaction. So here you can find a complete uh, reward point transaction details. So you can choose uh, transaction details as credit and you can choose uh, the customer and you can filter out the reward point transaction details according to the customers as well so here you can see the on reference of on cart we got five reward points on the registration we got two points uh, debit let's filter that out on cart i debited uh, seven reward points and the transaction type was debit so that's how you can filter out the reward point transaction details as well very easily by choosing the transaction type and from the drop down choosing the slick uh, choosing the respective customer and filtering out the reward point transactions according to the debit or credit as required now lastly comes uh, the configuration section so let's go to the configuration section so here uh, we can set up the day uh, the, 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 the reward point configuration basically and these configurations need to be set out so that the WooCommerce knows that the reward point related functionality is working out. So here you can see that we can set up the minimum cart amount 100, then the awarded reward points are 5, uh, the reward point uh, weightage we had set it as 2, the awarded reward points on the cart amount 100 as we place the order was 100. Same goes for the maximum reward point usage is 15. So there's a restriction can be set that this amount can only be uh, for the uh, re reward points can be made use of. Uh, similarly, registration reward point, whether you want to enable or disable the reward points at the time of new registration. Uh, at the time of new registration, the awarded reward points that you want to set. If you're giving a rating or review, uh, whether you want to enable that functionality or not. And if you're enabling the rating review and the uh, 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 review and ratings reward, reward point, then you can set up the awarded reward points for that. Uh, you can also choose to have the multiple reward conditions, whether you want to have that enabled or not. Uh, if you want to select it as no, then the reward point awarded uh, is on the basis of whether it's on the basis of the product or on the cart. And if you choose this option as a yes, multiple reward conditions, then multiple reward conditions will uh, be applicable there. And lastly, you'll have to tap here on the save changes to save the configuration settings there. So uh, that was much about the uh, WooCommerce uh, reward system plugin, and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us and support at the rate of webpool.com. Raise a ticket at webpool.qbdesk.com. Uh, you can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webpool.com forward slash contacts. Lastly, if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.